I was just trusting in my athleticism, uh, that, that hip over position, that barrel roll on my head like sidecar will is, is, is something that I've been doing since I was real young and so I have a lot of confidence in that position. Even if it looks like I'm going to my back, I, I'm, uh, uh, I, have, I feel like I have, I have really good core strength so I'm able to pull myself over and so that's how I got out. Yeah, I missed the first one, he almost put me on my back, went again, got away with like 10 seconds to go. So um, you've been doing that since I was young. Mike for when two things. On the takedown, you had tried like a, I think a duck under prior to that, it did not work, but yeah. then you were able to score. Why was it able to then? Number two, also your, your Mark Perry was a funk master when he was at Iowa. Are you developing some of that funk? Is that what we're seeing? Um, so first, that duck, it works better when guys are, are, are chasing me and they're tired. So he was, he was really coming after me, you know, elbows open. Elbows open, and then I and I I pulled on one side and went to that side I pulled on. He fell right down on his face, and I cut, just covered him. So that it doesn't it, it's it's kind of harder to get at the beginning of the match. It's more of a, a duck step and lift. But as a, as the match progresses, guy gets a little more worn down, and it's a duck. Guy falls on his face. I just cover it. And uh, can you repeat the second question? Funk. Oh, the funk. Um, it looks like you develop more funk now. No. no. No, <laughs> no. Uh, that's that's exactly the opposite of what my coaches want me to do because I'm a, I'm a power guy, power wrestler. I need to have my feet on the mat, feet on the mat to to, to build power and and uh, you got, I just got to have my feet in the mat to, to use my core strength and stuff like that. So um, they don't like me to funk. They they think I do, I have really heavy hips and I can use my body strength and I should just be basic with my defense. Up here on the front right, Isaiah Sachsen of the Daily Line. So with everything you've gone through, kind of the past year since. Last, last year's finals. How does this one feel? It's it feels good. Um, just uh, <clears throat> dealing with all the adversity. Me, I mean, Mark talked about this a lot. My coaches talk about it. they they know just kind of what I had to go through, and it, it wasn't just a loss of my father. There was a lot of things that happened this year that were that were you know bumps in the road. Um, I try not to disclose those things. Uh, too much because I don't like making excuses for myself, but it, it was it was tough this year. It was hard um, dealing with a lot of, a lot of adversity. But, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, I'm, just, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, you know, I, I stuck stuck with it and, and got the job done this year. Gary, Isaiah, with this win, you qualify for the Olympic trials. Are you planning to go up to Iowa City and and talk about uh, that part of your wrestling? Um, we'll see. I'm not sure. But uh, I'll tell you one thing, whatever weight I go, I'm going to win. So I'm, going, I'm not going for the experience. I'm gonna, if I'm going to go, I'm going to prepare myself the right way. And whatever weight that is, I'm going to go to win. But I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to go. I have to, to evaluate where my body's at health-wise, where my mind's at, my motivation, my heart. Um, we'll know soon. Isaiah, Zeb Miller, Flow Wrestling, Ohio cast. Uh, yeah, right, right. Uh, First off, was this anticlimactic? Were you ready to go the distance like the Big Ten final? I mean, you won this one in regulation. You guys were in a marathon, you know, at the Big Ten finals. And is it anticlimactic to not win it in overtime or? No, I, I mean, the mind, the mind is ready to go as far as it needs to to get the job done. And that's my mentality going in, knowing the kind of competitor he is. He's a hard-nosed guy. He's got a great gas tank. And, but I just, I just believe in my heart and my will. And uh, before I stepped out there, I told myself that I, I just, like I tell myself every time I get up for a big match, it doesn't matter how far we have to go or how far I have to go. I just, I know I'm gonna get the job done. My, Isaiah, last year, you, people were actually comparing you to Kel Sanderson because you were undefeated to win as a freshman. Did the, the loss to Nolf actually almost help you deal with this pressure or anything that you might have felt? I don't think so. Um, my coaches know I, uh, I have really high standards for myself. So, you know, external pressure is, is it's what you make it. You know, the the thing that I feel most is my internal drive, and that's kind of what what pushes me and drives me. And I really don't. I don't know. I just I the outside stuff doesn't really bother me. It's always it's always about my internal drive, and that's what that's what kind of drives me crazy sometimes. But it motivates me to you know hold a standard. Um, <clears throat> that you know, some, I don't want to win by one or two points. You know, I'm 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 happy I won. It's just 
now I got to think of ways to widen the gap. And uh, I know he's going to be, you know, great at whatever way he goes. But I'm again always, always trying to trying to look to get better. And so that's kind of just how I think about you know winning by a takedown at the end. One more question to wrap it up. Anybody? Are we good? Seth. I say, Illinois man, but you guys were pushing for 10, 15 seconds. It almost seemed like it was heading towards overtime. You were confident you were going to get your position and, and be able to get your two. What was going through your mind at that point? Um, <clears throat> the way he was driving into me, I just felt it. Um, I, I think my coaches saw this. It, when, when it got about 30 seconds to go, I was towards the out of bounds line, and I really started picking my hands up, picking my, digging them inside, digging them inside, pulling, pulling, and digging. And with, with, as, as the clock started ticking down, um, he was reaching because I was I was slapping his hands down real hard, and I just felt it right away. I pulled it and ducked. And uh, um, but yeah, I was com I was confident that if we went to overtime, I was ready. I was prepared. I didn't, my lungs felt good. My body felt good. Isaiah, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations. Two-time national champion, Isaiah Martinez of thank Illinois. You. Thank you very much.